Hello, 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 my spookies! Welcome back to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, the remake. We are about to embark on the great search for Gold Bob, General White. Yay! You'll see why I'm so excited for this as we progress. Now, Gold Bob, we know where he was previously. He was in a uh, posh, poshly Heights. Now, I came prepared with my chai tea latte. So I'm ready for the long haul. I'm ready for the- oh, actually. Hmm. With the power of caffeine, I can do all things. Through wonderful caffeine that strengthens me. I'm gonna get struck by lightning for that one. Alright, so... Yep, some dipping and dodging, dipping and dodging, dipping and dodging. No, no, go back, go back. I don't need to fight. This is going to be a lot of dipping and dodging. Although, it's going to be a lot of dipping and dodging, she says. Although, we can just. <laughs> hey, listen, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And I will say, I probably want to uh, at least fight a few of them for the sheer reason of I have almost. Gained a level. Waha! The speed run. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, that's fine. Uh, do I have enough? No, there's not enough. It's almost enough. Yeah, one more and we will get another level. We'll definitely get it at some point in time. But, uh. But yeah, so. It's gonna be one of those journeys. It's like one of those things where you just kind of uh, not for the excitement and the action and the adventure, but for for the the more subtle things. This is where we glow closer as companions. And, you know, cause uh, we gotta we got we got a ways to go. <laughs> it's really not that bad. Uh, well, hold on. Let me let me um. Uh, uh, say something. It's really not that bad if you know what you're doing. And Missy Spooks usually knows what she's doing. <laughs> and I know what I'm supposed to do. However, I don't entirely remember the order in which I do it. Uh, actually, that's probably going to take longer. Now, the nice thing about this game is we have the room that has all the pipes. So, I haven't done this with the remake, but that pipe room is probably going to make this a billion percent better than it was in the original. Which is some, one of the major things about this remake. Ooh, the people who made this remake really, really understood quality of life changes and gave it to you. They recognized, oh, hey, this one section people find really obnoxious. So we're going to add, you know, if you fall off, you got to do the whole thing again. So we're going to add a pipe here, uh, like the one on the island, right? Key Hall Key. There was that section where you have to go up the cliff. But if you fall off, then you got to do the whole thing. It was just a pain. But they added a pipe up there. And that just made everything so much better. Quality of life. And there's quite a few pipes that they added to the remake. So I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit easier. Now, he's simple. We, we just saw him here. Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? Oh. What's that you say? You must use the cannon and far outpost to save the world? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well, then. I certainly owe you a favor to... Hmm. Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of 
money, just how much would you pay, if I may ask? Uh, nothing! This is to save the world, my dude! One coin! One coin! Do you mock me? Why not just slap me with your shoe and be done? This will not do no no! Why don't you come back later with a new attitude? Oh, you're back, are you? I thought you might be. Let, uh, let's ask one more time. How much would you pay to use the cannon? I just need to see how serious you are. All right, fine, 64 coins. 64 coins! You seem to be underestimating the value of my services. Well, I just can't abide by that. Why don't you come back later, hmm? Man, you're gonna take all my money, aren't you? Give you nothing. All right, fine, everything I have. What? You'd pay every coin you own, all of them? It would be great if I had like three coins. You, uh, really? So, really? I'm sure, my dude, take my money. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'll be left with zero coins, with absolutely nothing. Dude, I can find some more frost piranhas and get a ton of money. You, you know that, do you? Yes, I'm well aware. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all of your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Not really. It's really not that hard to get coins in this game. But hold on. I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. My dude, we get it. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Let's move on down the road. You won't, you won't just say, just kidding, later on, or any sort of tomfoolery like that. It's one of my favorite words. Tomfoolery. It's so ridiculous. I can really take them all? Really? Yes. Take all my coins. Well, all right then. <laughs> so many life shrooms I could have bought. Hmm. Well, you certainly showed me something, sir. So, I give my permission for you to activate the far outpost cannon. You got Gold Bob's pass. Gold Bob's written permission to use the far outpost cannon. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose. Ah, oh, but I'll return your money. What was the point of that? <laughs> now, soldier on, my boy. I wonder if you will give us a clue. Please put far outpost cannon to good use, saving the world and whatnot. Gonzalez, I was so impressed with the way you offered up all your coins. Thanks. You're pretty cool, mister. You're a champion and a detective and you're saving the world. All right, so. Oh, you got mail. Brown Port today, an unknown businessman was taken into custody today by port authorities as he tried to board the blimp carrying a carrying large amounts of volatile red liquid. After a few tense moments, the authorities identified the liquid as a spicy condiment and the businessman was subsequently released. Our RDM reporters were mystified by the by the following unsolicited comment by our new hot sauce, folks. Don't I need hot sauce for one of the recipes? This week, we have the pleasure of introducing the fabulously luxurious shop on the Excess Express, the sales stall. This unique boutique, <laughs> unique boutique, I like that, on the exclusive trade of the independently wealthy, it just reeks of money, but perhaps the idyllic landscapes rushing past will loosen your purse strings says the impeccably dressed manager of sales. Come one, come all, be you rich or not at all, to our lovely sales stall. He then announced a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show him the screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. Cooking for rookies. This is it, rookies. You finally made it to the big leagues. Today's recipe is advanced level one. Today, we'll be making ink pasta. Just boil fresh pasta until perfectly al dente and mix lightly with inky sauce. Perfecto! Get ready for gourmet chow tonight. I don't think I know where to get ink sauce. Can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. Published by Rogue Port Restoration Committee. Oh, we are we're really getting down to the end here. Alright, so. What we know is that... General White went to some far away land. And that is it. Now, I'm sure if you talk to someone somewhere, 
They will give you a clue as to this dude's location. But I believe we have to start our search here. Believe. Power of Chai Tea Latte. God bless. If I recall correctly. I've been playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door a lot lately. I love this kid. I wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome. I just beat it every chapter. Totally cool ending. I loved it. So worth the money. Think there'll be a sequel? You and me both, kid. You and me both. If not, I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, that'd be awesome too. Ser yes, please make Paper Luigi. You already have the plot. How's that so? Hooktail's toast. I guess that's a good thing. Although, well, I've heard that Hooktail has lots of dragon friends. Yeah. And I've heard they're all much, much meaner and more powerful than Hooktail. So what do you think? You shake it now or what? Ha! Psych! Served! Uh, actually, you're pretty, pretty accurate. Uh... There are lots of, uh, dragons. Oh, my dude, I forgot about you. <laughs> Basically everything in this room is a one-of-a-kind collectible. Alright, I believe this... Huh? What's that? General White. If you remember way back, uh, when we came to Petalburg the first time, there was a white bob outside of the house with Princess Peach in it. Uh, you gotta talk to this guy, and then you'll get the clue. Oh, he was here before, but he said he was taking a trip, and then he left. Wait, hang on a second. He did say something about a deserted isle to the south. He was either going there, or not going there. That is so super helpful. Thank you, sir. But yeah, basically you have to chase this guy all around the world. Yay! Uh, but with this room, it actually shouldn't be that bad. Let's see, so we want the island, which is this one right here. Now the original Thousand Year Door does have this kind of fast travel. It, it's slightly more spread out and like a little bit of a yeah. But, uh, but, I mean, it, it, it still does exist. I think just having the room is just much nicer. General White! Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick. Said he was going to a city what floats in the sky or something. Alrighty. Guess not here. So, then we go to Glitzville. Uh, and yes, you have to go to all of these locations. <laughs> uh, this one, yeah. You can't just skip to the end, unfortunately. <laughs> you gotta chase them around the entire world. But luckily, we don't have to, like, actually go there. That would really, really suck. Oh, hey! Was he always here? Oh! Oh, this is no good! No one will solve my trouble! Oh, you must have a trouble at the Trouble Center. We're going to be doing that after this chapter. Uh, still the greatest ever. Yeah, I know. I'm so super cool. But I got to get this right here. It's looking very shiny. And totally miss. Here we go. Boink! Yeah, I'll upgrade the characters. Probably have enough by now. Uh, yep, I got three. So I'm going to upgrade somebody. All right, who do we got to talk to? Good. Yep, I am pretty awesome. General Wright, where are you at? Hey, go be a writer. A sky writer. That's an awesome, sounds awesome. If they ever make a movie of my life, it'll, call, it'll be called The War Board of Glitzville. <laughs> uh, right. How about you, sir? General White! Oh, you must be in that white bob huh? Yeah, I used to come here all the time. 
But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. Alrighty, he's not here either. So now we go to the great tree. Great puny tree. I don't know if it's actually puny or puny. Oh, that's that's not what I want. I just like I mean like puny, the word puny is spelled with a Y. This one just has an I, which kind of suggests that it's different, but it, like it's very suitable to them. They are adorable. I love how they just have that electronic door now. Just like, oh yeah, this is just our entrance, this space door. Welcome to the Great Tree. Eh, General White. Yeah, he's an old Baba with this great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. All right, thank you very much, Lee, for that one. He's not here either. So he's going somewhere dark, which would be Twilight Town. Do we have a pipe to Twilight Town? Do we have a pipe to Twilight Town? Oh, thank goodness. I actually... Oh, okay. I don't think there was a pipe to Twilight Town in the original. You had to go all the way back to the other pipe. These ones were just, like, places you hadn't gone before. So, like, there was that pain of the universe. In this village, the moon is all we can really rely on. It can even grant wishes. I remember you. I wish the Twilight Town will always be peaceful and ever so dim. Uh, I'm gonna go here. You know, you can get through every anything if you have good memories to cling to. But the problem is, not all memories are good. What do you do about things you want to forget? Can't you dump those somehow? Yeah, listen, I, I understand that one, but, you know, you, you need those. They made you the person you are. Ah, you, uh, you, you're Mario, our hero! Yahoo for you, Mario! It'd be awesome if someone said that about you, huh? Yeah, that'd be sweet. Wow. Wow, my dude. That's cold. Hey, you! You must really like this place, huh? No, not really? Well, then, you must have come to see me then, right? Gosh, if that's the case, I don't know how to say this, but you're just not my type. Uh, what about the Elder? You seen a bob -omb? Why, it's the savior of our town! It's Mario! Yes, actually, there was a general right around here for a little while. Curious fellow. Came here for a bit of rest, but he still looked tired all the time. Then one day, he just up and left. I'm afraid I don't know where. He was mumbling something or another about a cannon. Finally. All right. So, now he's mumbling about a cannon. Where could he possibly be? Actually, oh my goodness. I just realized that ending in Twilight Town is actually fantastic. Because now you're right outside of the pipe. That leads to far outpost. I was like, oh man, now you gotta go all the way to the other side. No, no, you don't. It's right here. Ah, that's. So, yeah, the remake definitely makes that quality of life much, much better. So now you gotta go to the cannon. You're like, I was just there, my dude. I was just there. What? Excuse me? Is this the so-called Greek Gonzalez? Uh, well, it's me, your worst nightmare. The new and improved rock hawk. Don't think I forgot, you punk. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen would blow your mind. I'm on the fast track back to the top and ain't nobody gonna get my way. Rock. And still, on rainy days, I feel the bruises, your hammer of shame left on this bat on this bod, and I feel the rage again. If you ever show your face to the ring again, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. Remember the horror. <laughs> Number one, rock hawk. Wait, didn't I beat you like six times already, sir? Like, I think we've already passed the point where you can talk smack to me. <laughs> but listen, I love the confidence. Oh, fuck. You just... It's not too bad. All 
Alright, let's see if we can get away with this. Actually, hold on. I want to use this. Just for funsies. Oh! Let's just totally whiff that was not what I expected at all in the slightest. Nope. That was bad. That was very bad. <laughs> you can't freeze ice stuff. Ah. Ah. Fudge! Ah. Not playing this game for a while has made the knee ugh, very unskilled when it comes to that. Um. I don't know if that's going to do four damage to the one behind it, so that might be a waste. Yeah, no, no. Nope, that was not worth it. But it looks like I'm going to gain a level, so all good. Aha! Very nice, very nice. I'll take it. Uh, sorry, Yoshi kind of got whacked out there. Very nice, very nice. Chai Tio celebration. that up a bit. I really want to get to 50. Oh, okay. I just noticed that, actually. Wow. Increase match max HP by 5. Great if you lack confidence. I, 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 my dude. Great if you use lots of moves. Great if you like to use badges. That's so rude! I mean, lack confidence. You kind of need to... I mean, I've seen people like do runs of 10 health but man is that uh, I just like to play the game yeah I'd like to get both my HP and FP up to the max 50 and then just you just pump the rest of it into uh, BP yeah there's quite a few badges I know that the um, the partner swap badge is basically sucking up all of my BP but my gosh, is that thing coming handy. Really, really, really handy badge. Here's like, oh, I need... Listen, listen. <sighs> Dramatic sigh. You know what? Go away. <laughs> I got things to do. I got places to be. I got the world to save my dude. Nope, that was not great. Oh my goodness, Missy Spooks, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I got them all anyways. <laughs> all good. All Gucci good. Oh, 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 no thank you. No thank you, son of a biscuit. I just said no thank you. I, 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 I used the polite word. Oh, Lord have mercy. Well, I don't want it, but it's not a bad thing to have. Thank you, thank you. Wait, you know what I haven't used? Alright, let's do this. I don't think I've used this one yet. <laughs> That's pretty great. All right, and then let's use this one and actually do it. All right, ready? Nice. Very nice. Ah. Decent, decent. <laughs> he was hanging in there. He was gonna make it. He was gonna live. He had so much to live for. Oh, wait, no, he's on fire. <laughs> I have to say, out of uh, the original Paper Mario game, the first one, my favorite boss is probably... Um, oh, gosh, what was his name? Was it just Fire Piranha? Flaming Piranha? Volcano Piranha? Uh, it was the boss... Um, on, in, in in that island one. It really, this Thousand Year Door and the first Paper Mario game are just mirrors of each other. 
You know, you have the island. You start off with the Koopas. <laughs> you have the island level. You know, uh, and it ends. I mean, well, I wouldn't call this snowy landscape a level. It's kind of like the sub level to get to the moon, but that's kind of how it ends there, too. Of you go to the ice land and that's kind of your final level. It is a lot of similarities, but it's so different and unique that no one really cares that it's similar. It's not like, oh, this is a carbon copy. Not at all. All right, well, we can't find the dude. Oh, ho, you have permission to use cannon. Must mean you met up with Gold Bob. All that remains is General White. What? You cannot find the general? Yes, where could he be? Ah, uh, the mustache gentleman. Where has he gone to? Now, where did he go? It is a great mystery. This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise, we cannot even operate that thing. So, what to do? Whatever shall we do? Oh, gosh. Guys, well, this is it. There's the end of the game. I have no idea where this guy is. There's absolutely zero clues in the game where to go to. They said he was here, and apparently absolutely not one person noticed that he was right here. He seems to be upset. Oh, uh, wake him? Yes. Yep. How are you still asleep, my dude? Is he turning a different color? Oh no, he's getting folded. He's still sawing logs. Try again. He couldn't be more asleep. <laughs> he's counting sheep. He woke. Uh, nah, he's still asleep. Sleeping like a stashed baby. <laughs> He's not even butching. <laughs> He's still snoring away. Good norf, snorf, norf. T <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep as it is all hopeless. Hut! That mustache, that hat, and that hammer even! Hut hut! I have been looking for you everywhere! Why? Well, to bring Big Bob back online. I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the rogue port fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the M on his hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams. Or something like that. What? You need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! That fortune teller was right. So what are we waiting for? I shall get Big Bob ready. So go tell the mayor. Now, get moving! Hot, hot! I love that music! Let's go! Let's... Somebody tell him it was us that went looking everywhere for him? Like, seriously. Seriously, my dude. Do you know the lengths we went to to find you when you were just in your house? I knew that house was suspicious. Like, I, I knew that the final place to find him was here in his own house. But I couldn't remember the order, but luckily they pretty much tell you the order. And also, if you want to 100% the game, that is not the first time you have to go everywhere for his ridiculousness. There's a side quest, I believe one of the message board quests, the help center, uh, that also has you do something very similar. And it's just like, my dude, my dude, why must you do this? And in the original, it was so much more of a pain. And so many people got stuck on this and were running around for just hours looking to this for this guy. Because you had to go to each location and talk to the one specific person who knew where he was at the other location. Ooh. What? General White is back. Then Big Bob's grand revival cannot be far behind. I could just explode with delight. Now let us shoot you guys to the moon. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we did it, Gonzalez. Let's go. Let's go. Now you follow me. Hurry on now, this way, this way. Big giant cannon. 
Which is really just a callback to Mario 64, uh, the greatest era of gaming consoles. <laughs> My OG, uh, Nintendo 64, where that's what you had to do, is do different stuff to unlock the cannons from the bob bombs that would shoot you to all these ridiculous places. Now you stand here. General White, is Big Bob ready? Ha! Leave it to me! Now, men, you know the drill. Load Big Bob. I think you did just load it, like, with me. Now, positions, everyone! Yes, sir! I remember watching this for the first time and thinking it was the greatest thing I had ever seen in my entire life. I love it so much. Bring guidance system online! Online, sir! Online, sir! System check! System check! All clear! Prepare big bomb's detonation sequence! Open outer hatch! Opening hatch, sir! Opening hatch, sir! My controller's shaking. <laughs> Open inner shutters! Opening shutters, sir! Opening shutters, sir! I- yes. I want a level where I have to go in there. Lift Big Bob into position! Lifting, sir! Lifting, sir! Flipping... love it. There's a reason they call him Big Bob. <laughs> Those bob bombs don't play! <laughs> I love this game so much! Acquire target! The moon! You gotta blow up the moon with that thing! Direction 75.38, elevation 54.66, range 389.603! not seem to be the moon. Nope, there we go. There's the moon! Wind speed, 1.08. Correct direction, 3.03. .03. Correct elevation, 2.39. Target locked. Now open the chamber hatch. Now, everyone in! Yeah, like, how do you power that thing? Oh, look! I'm sure everyone will be perfectly fine. It's crowded in here, boom! Stop pushing, bazoom! Close, chamber hatch! Drop my foot! It's tight in here, bloom! I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. Conditions all green, stand by. Okay! It is time! <laughs> Big Bob Cannon. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Yahoo! <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> Good luck, Mario. <laughs> they don't make games like this no more. <laughs> Whoa! So pretty, though. Stuck in a crater. Oh, you gotta wiggle out. Ah, wiggling! Whoa, that was awesome! Let's do it again! Man, who knew adventurers got to do stuff like that? Whoa! We're really, truly no fooling on the moon! Let's rock out, Gonzalez! Let's find the last crystal star in safe beach! I'm sure she's totally fine here on the moon. Oh, look at the little comment on a string. I love everything about this game. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to call it there. We made it to the moon. <laughs> so flipping 
cool. <laughs> so much fun. This game is so much fun. And that, and that's the thing. Those are the kind of games that I love the most. If I have a stupid, ridiculous smile on my face, I'm laughing my butt off. This is a great game. That is a great time to be, and I love it. Ugh. So glad they made this remake, and I hope they make more! Where's my paper Luigi? <laughs> Alright guys, if you enjoyed that as much as I absolutely did, hit that like button. We all like like buttons. If you haven't already, please, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much! I can't wait to see you guys in the next video, right? Bye!